This is code.org. Debug the program. Okay. This program is supposed to make painter object paint the space. Well, what does it do? Let's hit run. Oh, and there we go. Okay, my painter dot paint white. Cannot find symbol my painter. And yep, it does have an error. Find and fix the error in this program. Ooh. All right. So this is kind of strange because if we look at all of these, this is what we have been doing, right? My painter has worked fine. My first suggestion in these situations, guys, it's pretty tricky to look at this much code and just find an issue. So I often click on another bubble or circle or dot or whatever is the cool way of saying that. Well, that one wasn't the most useful because I want to see working code is the thing, right? Like I don't know everything always and I doubt you do as well. So I'm like, okay, this program works. Let's see what we got. So my painter dot move, my painter dot take, we can look up here and start to compare. So let's see, this is telling me the line that it errors on. So code attempts to be helpful, myneighborhood.java18. What this is trying to say is, hey, hey, on line 18, we have an issue. So way down here is when the issue is. That doesn't necessarily mean that's where the error is, but it's what it ran and hits a problem. So what I'm going to start to do with debugging is if it says line 18 is the problem, what happens if I move line 18 way up here? It's identical now. Will that change there? So if line 18 is the issue, now line 6 should break this. Nope, line 6 did not break this, and we copied and pasted it. Therefore, line 18 is not the issue. So now I'm going to start deleting. I know it sounds scary, or I can cut. Let me cut all of that out. I have one line of code. Is this line correct? And again, I start one step at a time. So I want as little, uh-oh, well, that's odd, right? So let me put all my code back. That's really odd. I only had one line of code and it's already saying there's an error. So it's either up here or we're missing something. Since it gives me this line as there, we must be missing something. Guys, this is how debugging, it's the best way to do it times a factor of a million, is you want to narrow it down. It's really hard to look at a chunk of data and just be like, yep, that's the issue, which is why I start by eliminating stuff. You could even comment it out, it might be a more traditional approach rather than just deleting, but I really wanted to be explicit about how I find errors. Narrow it down. You don't have to see everything always instantly. All right, with that being said, we know there's an issue here. Let me go back to this. Oh, look, my painter, my painter equals new painter, the instantiation of the object. The computer has no idea what my painter is, right? There's a class that we can't see that exists, but the class's name is painter. We haven't created any object. It says, what the world is my painter? How could my painter move? So now I would need to do painter, my painter equals new painter object right? And parentheses. Now what this should do, yep, it says, hey, computer, I need a new painter object. And again, we can't see the painter class, but I know it exists. What is the painter object called my painter? And what should it be able to do? Well, it's going to be equal to new and run the painter constructor. So everything a painter class can do, such as move, my painter now must be able to do. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, ta-da. And again, guys, pare it down to what the basics are and work your way up. Cool. And kwapow. Hey, we did it. Onward.